Now, I need a pound and a half of ground beef for that burger, but if you want to substitute chicken or turkey or even pork, you certainly could. And I want to get this into my bowl. It's nice and fresh. Now to this, I want to add just a couple things. The first thing is real bacon bits. I need a whole handful of that. And I need a tablespoon of steak seasoning. And there's garlic in here and onion and black pepper and all sorts of yummy stuff. And then to this, just some salt and pepper. And I'm going to open up a package of crumbled blue cheese. I want to reserve two tablespoons of this, though, because I'm going to show you how to make the best blue cheese spread you've ever seen. It's going to be rich and decadent. Okay, there's two tablespoons. The rest is going in here. Now for the fun part. I get to stir all this together. And I'm just going to use my fingers. You want to combine everything. I love going to the fountain shops. All that wonderful egg cream and milkshakes and hot dogs and hamburgers. Okay, I'm going to take these out of here because I want to divide them into four equal parts. That way they'll all be the same size, so they'll cook up right about the same time. Keep your hands wet. Makes it a lot easier to shape them. Then come in here with your thumbs and just shape them down. And look, you can see all the blue cheese and all the flavoring from that steak seasoning right there. Pop that on the grill. One of my favorite things to have in my kitchen is my indoor grill. It gives those wonderful sear marks to your food, makes it feel like you're outdoor grilling year round no matter what. Now I always preheat my grill before I put anything on it and it smokes a little bit, that's fine, just like the grill outside. See these grates in here? Your food is going to stick to those until it's cooked thoroughly on one side and then it will release and that's one of the tricks to knowing whether your food is ready or not. Now I want to wash my hands. Whenever you're working with meat, you want to use a little bit of soap here. Now for that delicious blue cheese topping I promised you. It is super simple to make. As I reserve two tablespoons of the crumbled blue cheese, all you're going to do is add a half a stick of softened butter to this. And make sure you break up any large blue cheese chunks. Now also to this, you of course can add any spices or seasoning that you want, but I love it just like this. Now I want to check on my burgers. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, this one's good. See, that's lifting up. You want to make sure that they easily release. Look at how gorgeous that is. It looks like it was made outside on the grill. And this one is sticking still just a little bit, so I want to leave that cook a bit longer. And while it does cook, I'm going to grab my lettuce and my onions. Now, I've already prepped these, but I did not cut my tomatoes because it's always good to leave those for the very last. So they're nice and juicy when you put them on your burger. And I always cover my onions and my lettuce with a nice wet paper towel to keep them fresh. By the way, this is that great butter lettuce, or it's also known as Boston lettuce. And let's see, I want to cut up my tomato here. But before I do, you know what? I think my other burger is ready to be flipped. Yep. Oh, look at how great that looks. This one still needs a minute, so I'll leave that set. I've already washed my tomato, and I just want to cut four perfect slices. Wonderful. And now I'll lay these in here. And my last flip of my hamburgers. This one's ready to go. And this one, too. That is super. Now, I have already toasted up some of my buns. And these, by the way, are beautiful onion buns. So they're going to have a bit more flavor than just the plain buns. I'm going to start with my bun on the plate and I want to get a burger off of my grill. And it's a great size for this bun. Okay, now on top of this I want to put some of my blue cheese butter. I'm sorry, but I don't think steak has anything on this burger right now. 
Okay, now to top this off with a little bit of tomato. Look at that size. And some raw onion. And a little bit of lettuce. And that is some beautiful burger.